Hey guys, calm down now. What are you allowing? Behave normally. Is this how we raised you, or what? So that you would run around here and cause chaos or something? Uh, nothing is working. It's like they've gone crazy. I can't understand what's wrong with them. Bad luck, I see. Maybe you're raising them wrong. Like, do they deserve toys if they behave like this? Yes, you're right. But in general, we wanted to give them a present. But apparently we'll have to punish them if they don't understand ordinary words. Because there's no other way. Well then, let's get out of here. We have nothing else to do here. Guys, wait, I have a plan. I can give you an experimental potion that will turn you into toys, and in this form you will sense your children. And if you agree, I'll even pay you. Wow, what the... And that sounds good, actually. And how will we return to our normal form? I'll give you an antidote. That way you can teach your children a lesson and they'll start behaving normally. Great! Only we need to warn our wives that we'll suddenly disappear for a couple of days because we've been called to work. So guys, listen up. Now I'm giving you an antidote thanks to which you can become ordinary people at any moment when you drink it. And then I turn you into little toys, like action figures. And then I give you boxes and you climb into them. I'll make it so that your wives buy you. They, they'll pay me for such an idea and... In general, you can teach your children a lesson and I'll get paid. What do you think? Great idea. Thank you, man. Because your plan is the most ideal for calmly teaching our children a lesson for constantly behaving badly. Apparently, you and I are really bad fathers of DJs. They don't listen to us. In order to raise children, they must respect, love, and fear you at the same time. But they don't fear you and don't respect you if they allow themselves to behave like this. So draw some conclusions and analyze what you are doing wrong. Thank you, man. I think your plan is great. Listen, girls. We have new goods here, and what can I say is that you should take these toys right now. They are very unique, and your children will definitely like them because look at them yourself how unique they are. I will give you both with a 10% discount. Wow, wow. This is just super. They look super cool. We really want them. Well, that's great. Thank you, Merchant, for offering us such toys. Good luck to you, friend. Cool. We have really cool toys. I really like the way they look. I can't believe that we have such top and really cool toys. Do you like them? Do I like them? Of course I like them. Especially look at them. That guy was right when he said they are unique. They look just like us. Cool, right? Cool, Mikey. It seems that the plan of that guy really worked. Now we have become toys and they did not even realize that it was us. So I think that this is a great plan actually. So let's figure out how to prank them. For example, we can make the floor slippery. Spill water on it, for example. Listen, Mikey, are we really gonna teach our kids a lesson and not make fun of them? What's wrong? They're constantly running around like crazy, so they should watch their step. Next time they should watch where they're running and they won't fall anymore. That's a great idea, actually, but I found some soap here. We can soap this floor now, and when our kids come in here, they'll fall. Let this be a lesson to them for not running around the house. We've told them this so many times and they never listen to us. Well, the next time they should listen to us so that this doesn't happen again. Well, that's great. If you have everything ready, then let's quickly get over here so that we're not noticed and we can calmly watch this. Mikey, just be careful. They can't know we're moving. We have to stay as still as possible and then everything will be okay. Look, look, DJ. It seems like we got it. It seems like everything worked out exactly the way we wanted. So it's great, actually. Mikey, let's go see what's here. Just be very careful because because they might notice us. What the? What was that? Why did we fall like that? Hey, wake up right now. What were you doing to the floor? Why was it so slippery? What is that? So kids, what the? What do you even think of doing? Come on, let's go wash up in the bathroom. Stop playing these stupid games because what you're doing is completely abnormal. Great, it looks like they were punished a little. That's very good, because maybe it will get through to them that they shouldn't behave like that. Yes, Mikey. Great, actually. What did you give me? Scatter it on their bed. You'll see what happens. Anyway, it's such a joke that they'll jump because their backs itch. Ah, well, 
Well, maybe. Yes, actually, it's a good prank on them. So it turns out that when they lie down on the bed, they will start scratching themselves really badly and then just run away somewhere? Did I understand you correctly? Absolutely. So if you're ready, then let's get in here in this disguise and sit here and wait for them. Well, what can I tell you? Is this at least safe for them? Well, of course. It's just a special powder for pranks. And in general, this all happened because of you. There's no point in drinking juice on the floor if you don't know how to drink it. That's enough. I don't want to argue with you now. Because lately we've started getting it from our parents very often. What the? Are you itching that much too? Why is my whole body itching? Oh my god. It's like nails have been scattered all over me. Why am I itching so much? What is this? Maybe there's something wrong with our blankets. Maybe there are a bunch of ticks in there or something. Is this your stupid pranks again or something? How many times are you going to make fun of me? Listen, Mikey, I just got a new idea for the next prank. I remember we used to give mannequins for clothes to our kids, right? Yeah, but I don't see them here. What did you come up with? Anyway, what if we put a mannequin in the closet and make it so that there's a monster in the closet? And when they open the closet, the mannequin falls on them. Cool! I just happened to have this scary mask lying around. So we could really try to do that. But how would it all look? I want to make it so that I'll talk to them on the phone so that they'll look in the closet. Well, monster. Who's not real but just a prank? Well, I don't understand yet how all this will look. But I like your idea. So do as you wish, and I'll just stand and watch it all. So go ahead! Yeah, something like that, actually. So, I think that it will be a great prank. Actually, we will scare our kids a little, so that they don't think that they can do anything. We need to teach them a little, so to speak. Well then, if we have everything ready, then let's quickly climb back into the boxes so they don't notice us. So what's there? Whew, I feel much better now when nothing itches. So, let's just go to bed, because I'm sick of all this already. Now I'm going to prank them. Now I'm going to talk in a scary voice for them. No sleep, guys. You won't get any sleep tonight. What the? This is not funny. Don't disturb me while I'm sleeping. Let's go to bed already. It seems like they didn't understand what happened. So let's do it again. No sleep. Sleeping is forbidden. Otherwise, I'll come to you and eat you. That's enough. I told you. Are you going to prank me now, too? Are you stupid? Am I a monster who is here to eat you because you are naughty children? What's wrong? Scared, huh? It seems like they understood where the sounds are coming from. Wow! How smart! Oh, what's going to happen now? They'll be so scared now that even... Wow! That'll be cool! <laughs> Funny, huh? Great! It seems like we've beaten all the dirt out of them, so to speak. They were so scared that they probably won't be so brave anymore. Are we sure we're doing the right thing? Is that how we should raise them? What's going on here? What the hell is this? Oh my god, are you all out of order? Guys, the guys, what did we tell you? Enough of these stupid pranks, otherwise we'll punish you and then you'll be sitting here without phones and TVs. We're tired of your stupid pranks. What kind of mess have you created here? It wasn't us. It was the mannequin calling us and yelling at us. It scared us. Do you even hear yourselves? How can a mannequin call and scare you? Enough of this nonsense, I don't want to hear it anymore. You're just making fun of us. What the hell is this and how could this happen? I can't understand what kind of jokes these are. Why did you do this to us? Do you have nothing better to do? Let's just go to bed already. Because I'm tired of everything going like this today. We just need to get some sleep, I think. Great. It seems like our pranks aka lessons are going great. So what's next? You still have those masks, right? Come on, give them all to me. I had one plan. Well, yeah. I have a couple of them here, so to speak. What do you want to do with them? Come on! Tell me what interesting plan you came up with, huh? Anyway, I just want to do this. I'm going to scatter all the toys all over the room and we'll put these scary masks on them so that our children would be so scared of this. Okay, sounds pretty cool, actually. Only our pranks have turned into some kind of screamers, to be honest. 
Because all this is part of our plan to suppress all courage in our children and they become afraid. Because thanks to such fear, they will not constantly allow themselves such chaos in this room and will begin to behave more calmly. Yeah, right. Your plan is actually pretty cool, to be honest. I just hope it all works out. And then maybe everything will be okay. Of course it will work. Why not? They're so scared that if they saw this again, they'd be in shock. And then our wives would come and punish what if we put these masks on ourselves, too? Well, I think it would be great. Yeah, we could try. That way we'd scare them even more. I even think I could talk to them through that filter to make them even more scared. Are we all ready? If so, I think we should get back into the boxes and then we'll get to work. Right? Yeah, Mikey, hurry up and get in and stay quiet. I'm going to talk to them now. Hey, you naughty children. Did you think you could behave like this and get away with it? But no, you'll face a terrible punishment for what you did. My god, what is this? What the? My god, who is talking to us? Are these our new toys or something? What the? Yeah, what did you think? That you can behave badly like that? I know that you are bad guys and you need to be taught a lesson because you allow yourself too much. No, that can't be. Forgive us. Ha ha ha, funny, right? Listen, I think the prank turned out great, right? Well, yes, actually. I liked the fact that they were very scared. Maybe they will start thinking before doing something. Well, yes. And now I think it's time to clean up here a bit, to make it so that we have put them under and there are no toys here. Ha! Ah, like they imagined all this? Well, that's also great, actually. So let's clean up here a bit. I don't know what else we can come up with to prank them, because it seems to me that we can come up with something else, right? Well, like, although we taught them a good lesson anyway, actually. Listen, Mikey, get ready for the fact that we are now going to just stand still for a long time, because I think they are going to come here now and there will be a scandal. Our wives are going to punish our children they will finally get it. And in general, I think that they will start to behave more calmly next time. So stay quiet, Mikey. Look, there are a lot of scary toys here. And our new toys talk to us. So this is not funny anymore. I don't see anything here. I can't understand why you are doing all this. Why are you behaving so badly? I told you that you need to pull yourself together and start behaving normally. I am tired of your stupid pranks, so I will have to punish you a little. In general, no more TV and phones for a whole week. Sit down and read a little. Clear your brain. But how is that... How is that even possible? Or maybe we really imagined it all. That's crazy. Are we crazy or something? Did we imagine it all or something? I just can't believe it. It's impossible. The toys are just standing there quietly. Okay, let's just go to bed already because I'm sick of all this. Besides, we have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah, I agree, because it seems like... What about Mikey? It looks like our kids went to bed, which means we'll have to wait until the next day. The alarm clock again. Hey, wake up soon. We have to go. Come on, get up, don't be so lazy. Oh, as if you like waking up at this hour. Why are you bothering me? Leave me alone already. JJ, I have a plan. Anyway, look, what if we know? Are you trying to prank our kids again or something? What this time? Anyway. Look, we can try creating a bunch of little soldiers like these here, and they'll attack our kids. How do you like that idea? I don't know, Mikey. I'm starting to get a little tired of all these pranks, to be honest. That is, you want to stop all these pranks already, as I understand it, right? Here you go. <gasps> I agree with you, but let's make it so that this is our last prank for today. Throw it right at these guys so that they become alive. Alive? What's the point? Like they'll attack our children so that what? So that they'll run to our wives again to complain about something that doesn't exist. Because as soon as they leave, we'll clean everything up here as if nothing even happened. Well then, maybe I agree with you. Let's do exactly this. And this will be our last prank. So do you agree? Well, of course I agree, and why not? So, DJ, I take it that we have everything ready. Now we just have to wait for our children to come, right? Oh, what the hell is this? Look at this, some figures again. There, they were standing here, but they're not here. 
Where did they all go? So guys, I see that you didn't get it, right? I told you to stop all these stupid pranks, didn't I? So what's so hard for you to understand? How much longer will this go on? I'm telling you that's enough. Otherwise, I'll make it so that you don't leave this room for a whole week. Do you understand? Okay, forgive us. I don't know what's going on. We honestly, it's just awful. I have no idea what kind of joke this is with living toys. TJ, come get me. Is this our perfect chance to do something now? What? Why did we leave our boxes? Is something wrong with Mikey? What happened? He turned back into a normal person. This is our chance to go to our kids right now and have a normal talk with them. So come on. Yes, Mikey. I think it's time for us to stop with these pranks. They don't deserve this, so. Hi, kids. How are you doing? What's going on here? Dad, I'm so glad to see you all. Where have you been? These toys attacked us. Why did this happen? Well, then maybe the problem is in you. Maybe you behave badly. You were constantly told to pull yourself together. And in general, you need to listen to us. We don't wish you anything bad. Forgive us. We won't behave like that anymore. We understand everything. 